we hope you are fine uh let's start our today's lecture we have covered uh, lo1 and now we will start the lo2 and uh, in which we will discuss the types of operating system as we discuss the different type of uh, softwares in which we have studied the system software and we have studied that operating system is the most prominent or most uh, popular example of system software in this uh, lecture first of all we will discuss the types of operating system then we will discuss different um, software applications for specific purpose if we want to do any task which type of software we can use that is kind of uh, application software. Then we will discuss the use of web application to enhance user experience. Because we are not only using nowadays, we are not only using the window based application, we are also using the websites for different purposes. And also we are using the mobile applications. So we will discuss the main operating system that is of uh, main uh, software that is operating system. Then we will discuss the um, end user software. These are the application softwares. And then we will discuss the web applications and uh, how much they are important. And in the last, we will discuss the apps that we are using utilizing on the mobiles. So we can say that, uh, in other words, we will discuss the software in of every type in this lecture. Now, different types of operating system. As I told you, operating system is the type of system software. So operating system is responsible to manage the working of the system that uh, and it will handle all the operations that are running in the background like loading a file saving a file or um, copying a file or opening a file whenever we are giving any command we are clicking anything that uh, thing from where we are loading that file from where we can get that file how we can load that file in the random access memory how the file will be read how the file will be write if we are making any change so these are the all tasks will be done <clears throat> by the system software and in other words we can say that um, by the operating systems now as we discuss the different type of um, computers <clears throat> and uh, environment of every computer is different in some computers we are utilizing um, or we are handling the single task that is dedicated systems in some computers we are um, handling each uh, every type of task general task can be handled by these computers sometimes we are handling multiple users so according to that we have to utilize different type of operating system according to our system and according to our need so <clears throat> the first type of uh, operating system is general purpose operating system that is uh, used on the computers that are the general purpose computers most probably these are the micro computers are the personal computers so that represents an array of operating system intended to run a multitude of applications on a broad selection of hardware like we have to print the files we have to scan the files we have to give the voice input we have to um, show the voice output we have to uh, make documents we have to make presentations we have to handle different entertainment software so different sort of uh, operations are running inside the journal program computers so at that systems we have to utilize the general purpose operating systems where we are utilizing multiple hardware that can be a mouse that can be a keyboard scanner microphone um, micr so different type of hardware we are utilizing and we are handling multiple applications or we are handling multiple tasks simultaneously like we are downloading something we are opening something we are um, recording something at the same time we are handling different type of operations so that can be and then when we will install uh, the general purpose operating system uh, and that can be available or that can be suitable for the desktop and laptop models and can run the applications from accounting system to the database and to the web browsers to the games like for the education purpose for the uh, entertainment purpose uh, for office working 
every kind of software can be run inside of that environment that is provided by the general purpose operating system so it typically focus on the processes whenever we are running anything that is a process or a thread so that focus on the process because we are handling uh, multiple things inside our system so each program or each running application is called a process so process or a thread so uh, it will focus on the processes because uh, when uh, it will focus on the processes um, the operating system can manage the smooth running of these processes and the hardware management to ensure that the applications can reliably share the wide range of computing hardware present because they are sharing the memory they are sharing different things so they have to ensure that the so um, operating system has to ensure that they can work simultaneously uh, after that we will discuss uh, general purpose different type of general purpose operating systems are available the most commonly used general purpose uh, operating system um, is the window based operating system um, we are very much familiar um, with that type of operating system so um, uh, that uh, is introduced in 1985 that is based on the graphical user interface in which we are using the icons uh, menus um, and different uh, pointing devices so these type of uh, interface is known as the uh, this type of interface is known as the general uh, graphical user interface and it is uh, released in many versions like if we are talking about the microsoft windows that has many versions 95 99 2000 2010 2014 the different versions are available that is very user friendly interface and uh, even if if is uh, one is not uh, well familiar um, and has uh, the next one is uh, macintosh uh, operating system that is uh, handled by the apple macintosh uh, and uh, they are similar to the windows but they are much secure as compared to the windows operating system um, and the windows is introduced by the microsoft and uh, the mac operating system is uh, published or introduced by the apple's company so the uh, unix operating system that is uh, based on the uh, command line interface that is much secure where we need security information security a different type of secure uh, environment are necessary uh, here we can utilize the unix and linux operating system we are uh, giving different type of commands uh, to handle over operating system that is not much user friendly but and they are the secure systems where our privacy and the security is uh, over concern we can utilize the unix and linux operating system so that is also a multi-user operating system designed for the flexibility and adaptability originally developed in 1970s and after that different versions were invented in many languages and um, most uh, commonly used language is C language. Now Linux is a uh, uni-like operating system that is designed to provide PC user a free or low cost alternative because windows need to be um, updated and we have to pay uh, annual cost on and uh, linux is free of cost um, uh, freely available operating system so that is a low cost uh, alternatives to the uh, linux are to uh, to the windows so linux has the reputation as an effective and fast performing this uh, operating system because they are light in weight and um, the code is not much heavy mobile operating system the, on the mobile phones we are running the mobile operating systems as we are we have different type of uh, operating system for the pcs and laptops that is general purpose operating system when we are talking about our cell phones or our mobile phones we need the operating systems or a system that is uh, providing us the environment in which we can utilize over devices and over mobile phones so mobile operating system can be run on the mobile as in the mobile phones over focus is responsiveness uh, we have uh, to reduce the wait time 
as uh, we are providing the less accessories along with over mobile phone we are not utilizing the mouse we are not utilizing the keyboard and other um, devices are also not attached with the cell phone over um, the main theme of using the mobile phone is that we have to respond and we have it should be handy and responsive so these are the lightweight operating system and um, they are designed to accommodate the unique needs of mobile computing and communication centric devices such as smartphones and the tablets now <clears throat> as the mobile as i told you mobile offer the limited computing resources compared to the traditional pcs there is no mouse no keyboard um such keyboards that we can attach with the <clears throat> mobile phones so we have a touch screen through which we uh, we have only one input and output device that is what a screen through which we are giving the commands and the operating system must be scaled back in the size and complexity in order to minimize its resources use because we have to provide the environment that must be much responsive as compared to the windows operating system and the general purpose operating system while ensuring the suitable resources for one or more application running on the device because we are utilizing more than or we are using more than a mobile phone are also multitasking so we are using more than one task at the same time so mobile operating system tend to emphasize efficient performance user responsiveness and close intention to the data handling tasks such as sporting media and streaming so we have to use the operating system that is light in weight so apple uh, introduced ios and uh, uh, google android are the examples of mobile operating systems android is also um, yeah, google and androids are also used on the mobile phones now embedded operating system we are utilizing the devices that use the micro uh, processor but they are not as general as the my uh, over uh, cell phones or over uh, laptops or our um, personal computers so um, we have some devices that has the computing uh, equipments in that but uh, they are dedicated devices that are specified to a single task like over um uh, home digital assistant automated teller machine atms airplane systems retail point uh, terminals that includes the computers that require a unique type of operating system because they are uh, they assigned only a single task to do there is no multitasking in such type of devices so the principal difference is that and the associated computing device only does one major thing so the operating system highly dedicated to both performance and flexibility so we have to focus only a single task so that task must be available 24 by 7 so uh, we have the requirement related to the operating system is that operating system should run quickly no crash and handle all the errors gracefully in order to continue operating in all the circumstances because we are focusing on a single task so in most cases the operating system is provided on a chip that is incorporated into the actual device so no extra devices are needed a medical device used in patients life support equipment for example will employ an embedded operating system that must run reliably in order to keep a patient alive so they are the most efficient systems because we have to provide the service on all the means there should be no delay now network operating system when we are talking about the servers and the mainframe computers and the mini computers in which we are handling different type of um, users where we are handling multi users we have to utilize the network operating system so a network operating system is <clears throat> specialized operating system instead of facilitate the communication between the devices operating on a local area network so that provides a communication stack needed to understand network protocols in order to create exchange and decompose the network packets because when over data is traveling from one place to another place we have to make the chunks of over data that are known as the packets so whenever the packet has to travel on the wires or through the air uh, by using the signals 
and we must know the location where we have to transfer that packet. So for that purpose, we need the environment our, um, that can understand what is the packet, what is the destination address, what is the source address. So now we need such type of system uh, in such environment that is the network operating system. So uh, we have uh, the general purpose operating system much uh, specif uh, specialized. Nowadays, we are not utilizing the network operating system on the computer, but still we are using um, network operating system on different devices like routers, switches, and the firewall. In computers, we are utilizing Windows 10, Windows Server 2019. <clears throat> They are not only providing the general purpose environment, also providing the environment through which we can communicate from one device to another device. Now, real-time operating system. When a computer, a computing device must, uh, must interact with the real world within the constant and uh, repeatable time constraints. Like there is no delay. Real-time means there should not be any buffering. There should not be any delay where we have to use the real-time operating system. For example, an industrial control may direct the operations of power plant, where we have to maintain the temperature. If the temperature uh, can exceed through the limit, there can be a disaster. So we have to handle a system in which we have to use the sensors and also the sensors can the, uh, send the signals to operate the regulators, motors and the countless other devices whenever they can automatically shut down one of the device if the temperature is rising to a specified limit so in our they can <clears throat> set a alarm and we can easily uh, human can easily handle that situation so in these situation the industrial control system must respond quickly and predictably to change the real world conditions otherwise disaster may be happen so real time operating system must function without buffering processing latencies and other delays that's why we are saying that these are the real time operating system because we can't afford any delay in the processing now, different type of software applications. So, according to our requirement, we can utilize any type of operating system. And the next one is different type of software applications. The first one is, uh, as we discussed, uh, the operating system is type of system software. And uh, the second type of software is application software. That is also known as the end user programs or even productivity program, which assists the user in completing the various tasks. If we are not installing any type of application software, running of computer uh, will not be affected. But still, if <clears throat> we have to do any specific task, a user has to do any specific task, we have to install such type of softwares, like for making notes, for designing graphics, maintaining accounts, carrying out the calculation, and even playing computer games. So for that purpose, we have to install different type of software. These type of softwares are known as the application software. They are uh, available uh, above the system software. The user is not directly interacting with the hardware. There is a There are two layers between the hardware and between the user because we don't know the language of hardware because the hardware can only understand zero and one that is very difficult to understand for a human being so for that purpose there are the two layers between the users and between the hardware the first layer is system software the system software is interacting with the hardware and application software is sending messages or signals towards the system software so system software is providing an environment in which we can utilize the hardware and that hardware can be utilized by sending commands through the application software. So we can say that the user is communicating through the application uh, software, application software is communicating to the system software and the system software is communicating towards the hardware. So they are actually used by the end users as well as have specific functionality or tasks which they are designed to perform. A single uh, software are designed to do a single task. So these software are often 
divide through the custom service development software there are multiple software houses that are responsible to develop different type of software based on the requirements of the user now different categories are there for the application software these categories include the word processors database software multimedia software and the web browsers now we will discuss these categories one by one word processor when we are talking about the word that means the text based documents whenever we have to handle the text and we have to make any document we have to uh, utilize the word processors so they are uh, not only uh, used to create the documents they can also used to format the document we can add different uh, not only utilize that software to create the document we can also utilize the software for formatting we can add the uh, different type of graphics inside the document we can also edit over documents we can print over documents so whenever we have to handle the text things or we have to make over text attractive uh, we can use the word processors that includes ms word apple iwork pages corel word perfect and google docs so these are different type of word processors are available now the next one is database software database data means we have the records whenever we have to maintain the record we have to utilize the database software uh, we have to record the details related to our customer related to our students so these are these details can be stored in the databases now when we have making the databases there can be repetition in the data we have to handle the data we have give and we have to give different queries we have to search different things so database software is not only providing us the um, space to store over data we can also perform different type of tools and techniques on the, that our, uh, data so uh, the software that enable us to manipulate the data to store the data to delete the data to update the data to share the data um, that type of softwares are known as the database softwares so um organization of data is done by the database management systems or database softwares so some of the database management systems are ms access file maker dbase clipper mysql and box pro these are the tools through which we can organize over data multimedia software multimedia means text audio and video whenever we have to work on the images audios and videos we have to use the multimedia software when we have to combine different type of images we have to um, define any image we have to make a collage we have to uh, uh, make a video by utilizing different type of images we have to make an animated video we have to use the multimedia softwares so these softwares are utilized for the animation video editing graphics as well as the image editing so some examples of multimedia softwares are adobe photoshop picasa vlc media player windows media player and the windows movie maker web browser whenever we have to browse from the internet we have to search something we have to post something we have to send email we have to open any website we have to utilize the web browser so web browsers are the facilitators that provide us the environment in which we can search anything from the internet and we can use the services of the internet so they assist the users in locating as well as retrieving data well across the web some examples are google chrome mozilla firefox internet explorer opera uc browser and safari now according to availability of the softwares there are the three categories so these categories include freeware shareware and the open source how we can um, uh, avail these uh, softwares either we have to pay for these softwares or they are free of cost according to their such type of availability we have classified over software into the three categories now we will discuss uh, these categories one by one 
Now the first one is freeware. As the name indicates, these softwares are available free of cost. We don't need to pay any cost. A user can easily download them from the internet and can easily use them without paying any charges or any fee. So, however, they don't provide any type of liberty to modify the entire software or change a fixed uh, fee for its distribution. If we are distributing or we are giving a copy of software to anyone else, we don't charge or we cannot make any change in the code or in the working of that software. So, best software development company can develop its own freeware to reach out the more customers like different banks are providing different banking apps different uh, e-commerce uh, points are providing uh, different type of hmm, websites and different type of applications that can be installed on the computers as well as on the mobile phones. So some examples are Adobe Reader, Skype, ImageBurn, uh, TeamViewer, uh, Wear, and uh, Yahoo Messenger. Now the shareware. This software is distributed freely to users but for a certain period of time like for one week or for one month. So it generally comes with a set time limit and on a expiration of the time limit the user is finally asked to pay a fixed fee for the continu uh, continuous services. So such type of softwares are the shareware where we can and um, enjoy the services for a limited time period after that we have to register to that organization and then we have to pay the fee so few examples of shareware are winzip get right and ehp debugger no open source software open source software and open source is type as name indicate that is available for the users the code is available uh, such type of softwares uh, are available they are not only free but um, they um, the developer has given the facility to the user and the uh, user can also modify the code and distribute the software towards the other persons like the user can also add additional functionality into the code and if they have made any changes they can distribute the code um the new version of that code and if they are um they can and uh, they want to charge they can also charge a fee after making the changes in that code some examples of such softwares are mozilla firefox thunderbird uh, gnu compiler collection module and apache web server now, these are the application softwares and types of operating system. Now, we will discuss the web applications. Web application means the web app or the website. It is an application or the program that is stored on a server. We have studied about the server. Servers are the powerful computers that can facilitate the millions or hundreds or thousands of users at the same time so every organization has to design nowadays that is demand of over market every person or every organization every businessman every institute or every e-commerce platform has to design a web application or a website that website must be uploaded on some server and um uh, and the persons or the users can interact to that website or the web application through the internet by utilizing the web browser. So web applications can be designed for the wide variety of use and can be used by anyone because we can only have to enter the address of that uh, web application and we can there is no need to install any other thing inside our computer. We need only a web browser and a connection of internet and we can open any web application or a website. So any organization or individual persons can utilize or use the services of any website. So commonly used web applications can include the web mail, online calculators, e-commerce shops or nowadays every 
organization is providing the web applications and web services to their clients. Now the architecture of web application. It describes the interaction, the web application uh, describes the interaction between the applications, database and middleware system on the web. Because uh, either we are able to add the data on that website or only we can see the products that are available on the website. Either we can post any feedback. So um, all things must be done in the architecture. So it ensures that the multiple applications work simultaneously because there are the multiple pages are on a web applications. So as soon as the user hits on go button after typing the URL, universal resource locator, that is address of a web app that is known as the web address of a web application is known as URL in the address bar of a web browser. It requests for a particular website and the server where the website is stored, the server can show the version of that website towards the user who sends the request. So the server sends the file to the browser as a response to the request made. So the browser then execute those files to show the requested page. So finally, the user is able to interact or communicate with the website. Thank you.